Assalamu alaikum. My name is Jasser Hathout. I am a physician and a professor at UCLA at the School of Medicine. My field of work is neuroradiology, and I wanted to invite you to a new lecture series I've taped for Islamicity on neurotheology. What is neurotheology? Well, it's different. Over and over, young people come to me and say, we're tired of listening to the same old thing, that Islam is good and kufr is bad. Give us something different. So here is something different. What is this field? This is the field that examines the question of whether faith is innate or acquired. Are we born with a hardwired innate capacity to recognize the existence of God? That in a nutshell is the field of neurotheology. It is a field in its infancy, but already books have begun to appear, trying to answer the question, does faith have a biological correlate? This is Neurotheology by Andrew Newberg, one of the pioneers in the field. This is another book called Neurotheology, the Neurological Explanation of the Religious Experience. And together, we will take a look at this field. As a teaser, there are many interesting results, even results directly relevant to Islamic prayer, to our Salah. Here's a paper by Professor Newberg. And many of these studies use a technique called functional imaging, imaging of the brain as it undertakes any of its many activities. This is a method called SPECT scanning. Here's one subject, here's a second subject. And red areas in the brain are more active. Here's the resting state, and I'd like to point your attention to the frontal lobe. Here is the subject during prayer. Here's some red and the red goes away. Here's another subject, red in the frontal lobe at the resting state, then during prayer, the red goes away. Well, what is this paradoxical result? That this area on the frontal lobe is becoming less active when we pray, not more active. Well, this area is what is known as the executive control center of the brain. It is the center of the brain that gives us our sense of control. And when during our prayers, we submit ourselves or surrender ourselves onto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it would then make perfect sense that this center of executive control would actually become less active, not more active. And I'm quoting directly from Professor Newberg's paper. It is hypothesized that the changes in brain activity may be associated with feelings of surrender and connectedness with God described to be experienced during these intense Islamic prayers. Intrigued? I hope that you are, and I hope that you will join us for this lecture series. And I hope that you will agree with me that the presence of dedicated neural networks that we will find together in this lecture series is yet another evidence that God exists and that we are indeed hardwired to understand and recognize this fact. I hope inshallah to see you. Take care, salamu alaikum and God bless.